Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a cherry pony. Call me like a cherry pony. Your boy done switched up on you. Call me like a cherry pony. Wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. If this is your very first time to this channel, run over there and subscribe for us. Then after you subscribe, make sure that you hit that notification bell and place it on all so you can be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And all of those of you guys that are having problems getting your notifications of the videos, go back, check your notification bell. You can either take it off, take the notification bell off and put it back on and make sure it's on all so you get your notifications, okay? Now, now that you've done that, you are part of the Lips Legion. But there are some things that we do, and we do them every single day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, comment like a share and come for the team. Comment like a share and come for the team. Comment like a share and don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to comment like a share. Boy, you fine. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to. Don't forget to come like a share. My bad, y'all. My husband walked in front of me, honey. He was with fine as wine, honey, on a bad day. Anyway, you guys, now let's go ahead and pray and let's get into the goodness. Here we go. Hey, man. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Guess what? Just Ben is here today. Just Ben is here, and he has great diet ocean spray juice in him today. Let's see if he's nice and refreshing. Uh, he is. Also, I'm you guys, I got my lips hot sauce. And if you like your bottle, look way up in the top of the scripts box in blue. Hit that link, and right there, you can get your lips hot sauce. And your lips merch. Okay, you guys, today for the food, baby. I don't know if y'all, I don't know what you've been told. I don't know what you've been told. But y'all, spaghetti tacos are the bomb. So I had already warned you, they're gonna be coming back. And guess what we had on our video yesterday with our pig ears? We had spaghetti. So here we go. We got spaghetti tacos. So we got lettuce and cheese, jalapenos, uh, the spaghetti, of course. We got banana peppers in there. Back here, I've got my mango habanero salsa. I've got some extra cheese here. I have got some jalapenos chopped up. And I have got some extra uh, banana peppers. This is what we got. Now, I normally need some more jalapenos up here. So let me go and put them up here now. Let me go and put them up here now because I'm going to need some extra of those. Yep, yeah, because I'm feeling a little bit spicy today. I am. Actually, I think those are serranos, I think. I'm not for sure. My husband said, I don't know. Anyway, y'all, let's get to eating. Let's go. Y'all ready? Let's go. Okay. Here the first one is right here. Hold up. Let me put me some sauce on it first. Y'all know I love mango habanero salsa on my spaghetti tacos. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So let's put some of that up there. I already got my extra banana, I mean my extra out around. Mm, jalapenos up there, let's throw some little cheese up there for it. And now, let's get her. There she go. Look at her. <laughs> Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. She ready. Y'all ready? Let's go. Mmm. 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 Y'all. I absolutely love spaghetti tacos. I love them. Um, like I told you guys before, great friends to me, myself, and to the channel, when you run the TV, is who originally asked me to do these. Every time I do them, somebody come in the comments and tell me, oh, I Carly done the thing. I'm gonna tell y'all, be honest with y'all, I don't even know who I Carly is. I don't. My husband knows who she is because I keep asking him that every time when somebody says it to me. Personally, I don't even know who I Carly is. I know the Queen Rain TV asked me to eat this. All right, so shout out to I Carly if she done it first. It is amazing. Hmm, y'all like, look at that, look at that. Mmm. 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 Mmm.
And I'm glad because for some reason today, y'all, the setup process of this was horrible. Like, I kept dropping stuff, I'm turning over my beverage and everything. Um, I'm gonna give it some lip sauce, sauce honey. We'll go on it. On there, my honey. That's how the Mac is gonna make it better. For those of you all that have purchased the lip sauce out, you already know. You already know, huh? Get your pipe lips, let me put some extra on there for you. Some extra lip hot sauce on there for you. There you go. Mm. 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 Perfect. So, how y'all doing today? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. I really do. I hope you are doing really well. Um, you guys, the weather here is phenomenal. Um, later in the day, it's still getting up in the 90s. Um, but the weather is phenomenal. Like, it's pretty, it's bright outside. Um, of course, the heat ain't all the way on hell yet. <laughs> Glory. Um, um, it ain't all the way on hell. <coughs> but the heat is here. Definitely. It's here. Uh-huh. We need some extra banana peppers on this one now. Some extra banana peppers, huh? Get your bite. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get your bite. Mm -hmm. You see it? Mm -hmm. Let's get it. Mmm, 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 so good. So, we got today, mmm, generally, other than myself, generally I don't bring, um, you know, situations of, um, my personal life or my friend's personal life or my family's personal life directly to the video. Um, but today, I do have to talk about something. Um, and it concerns someone that's very, very near and dear to my heart uh, in my personal life. It really does. Um, um, and hopefully it will help somebody else, okay? Anybody else. But today, you guys, we're going to talk about... Let me get more bite, though. Y'all want a bite? Mmm. 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 So good. You guys, today, we're going to talk about insecurities. Mmm-hmm. We all have them. We've all had them, have them, and probably we'll have them for the rest of our lives. I mean, that's just the nature of being a human being, okay? No one is gonna love everything about them, you know? Um. Because none of us are perfect. We're imperfect beings. We just are. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you about myself. In this. Because you all know over the years I told you all about my tumultuous childhood. Um, so, with that being said, I grew up with a lot of insecurities. Primarily because of my lips. I did. I come from a family of, uh, you know, larger mouths or um, you know, big lips on my mom's side and my dad's side. 
it just so happened, I end up being the one with the um, bazookas, so to speak. And I told y'all, even when I was in college <laughs> and I played online, well, when I was online pledging, my line name was Soup Coolers. Because I've always had these really big prominent lips on my face. Um, as I got older, you know, your insecurities really, really began to show. When you're a child, you can kind of hide them. Because you're a child, you're in that awkward stage. Um, I can remember when I was a child, um, grade school. At that time, when you got to school, now they have something like homeroom. But at that time, the school I was in, they brought all the students of all the grades into the auditorium. And that's where you got counted absent or, you know, whatever, whatever for the day. Now they have like a homeroom class, I know. But at this time, we all went into the auditorium. Uh, it was the same reaction that I got from the people that I love. I'm talking about my family members. Uh, when I got on the bus or when I went to the auditorium, I always hollered out over everybody, lips, lips. You know, that was just what, what happened. So it made a deep insecurity in me about my mouth. It did. And this followed me for years until I was probably 23, 24. Um, not that I was ashamed of them, but it was an insecurity that really, really deeply was embedded in me from a young age. Um, however, okay, y'all, y'all know that is another one, just like the other one. Yeah. Y'all see it? No, yeah. Come back to the city, but anyway. Mm, 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 mm. However, when I was about 22, between 22 and 24, I can't remember exactly. Um, my face, my look, kind of all came together. I was a grown man, you know? And that same thing that made me want to run in the corner and cry throughout all my life, that deepest insecurity about myself, of course, like I said, with my lips. When I went into college, you know, we're getting my grown man on, you know. Everything came together. And all of a sudden, them same things that caused me, you know, great insecurities throughout all my life was what was bringing the honeys, you know. It was what was bringing them to the yard. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Yep, both men and women. <laughs> you know, I mean, it was always an over sexual thing because of just the allurement of them. But that same thing that had, you know, you know, baby, mm -hmm, these lips right here done got me way more than what they could ever kept me from. I promise you that much. Mm. 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 Also, Another thing that was probably a closely, a close second place about my insecurities about myself is the way that I eat. You know? A lot of people feel like that I eat like this for you. Or I eat like this for the camera. You know what I mean? A little do they know, the way that I eat was a deep insecurity of mine throughout my life. Because I don't eat very quietly. Um, I pop my lips. You know, that's just the nature of what happens. I do that whether I'm eating or not. Um, I don't know where I picked that up from or where it came from over the years, but somewhere along the lines, it came and it stayed. Mmm. Mmm. Um, I've always been mm, a not so not so quiet eater, so to speak. Mm. No, not so to speak. I'm just not a quiet eater. I'm saying it the same. The two biggest insecurities that I had throughout my life. Support me and my family fully today. I'm saying the same. 
It's fine to be insecure about things about yourself. It's just natural. That's just a natural occurrence that happens because you're human. But you have to just keep praying. You have to keep loving yourself. Self-love is something that a lot of people are lacking. And they're so used to not loving themselves that they make it okay for others not to show them the love that they deserve as well. And it all stems from insecurities. You know what I mean? It all does. I know me, myself, and I, there are two types of women in the world. Well, three. There are three types of women in the world and that I just absolutely think are gorgeous. As a matter of fact, when we went to the restaurant, when um, Big Betty Bob was here, oh, I saw a lady and she was so gorgeous to me. I had to stop her and tell her, ma'am, you are absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, and what makes a person gorgeous to me obviously wouldn't fit for everyone, but it's the insecurities about people that, that draws me to them, that attracts me to them. You know what I'm saying? Like a really, 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 really dark um, black woman with pretty skin. And, oh, great. That is one of the most gorgeous things in the world to me, to honestly. Like a beautiful dark, I mean, I mean dark. A beautiful, you know, really, really dark skin, black woman um, that may be insecure about her self, but because of that insecurity, she takes care of her skin immaculately. Oh my God, that is one of the most beautiful things in the world to me. A really thick girl, you know, I mean, it can even be a big girl. That takes care of herself, keep her hair done, nails, toes done, smell good, you know, keep herself fitted up, baby. That is absolutely sexy to me. Oh my God, I just love it. A big woman that keep her clothes together, keep herself together, smell good, her nails, her toes done, keep her hair did, eyebrows arching all of that, baby. Oh, oh, that is just absolutely gorgeous. That's a gorgeous woman to me. Here you go. That's the next one. Mm. Mm hmm That is sexy to me. Oh, love it. I mean, I would have to stop these, these type of women and tell them, you are gorgeous to me, for real. Thirdly, mm, a bow, uh-oh, give me out. A bow-headed woman. Or a woman with nappy natural hair that is taken care of. Oh! I don't see how men that like or heterosexual men, I do not see how they could not be drawn to this such beauty. Oh, I love it. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm, a, I'm, the, per, I'm, the, I'm the type of person that a person's insecurities, their flaws. Here, y'all want to bite while I'm running my mouth so much. Their flaws are what attracts me to them. Mm-hmm. Mm mm-hmm. Truthfully. You know, I think insecurities are for you. But I feel like they're jewels for the world. For you to be proud of yourself. Let them show. You know? Like I said, but even for myself, my two biggest insecurities in my lifetime, you know, my lips and the way that I eat, you know what I'm saying, are two things that, according to my analytics, I'm known for literally in multiple, multiple countries. We're not talking about one or two, three or four, five or six. We're talking about lips, me, the big, this big lip brown boy that can't eat with his mouth closed. You know, of course, like I've told you, it's amplified here at my home because you do the mics and everything's going on here. But I eat, uh, you know, I don't eat quietly no matter where I am, okay? But little old me, this little brown boy, 
is now known in multiple countries. You know what I'm saying? When I say multiple, I mean multiple countries through YouTube and other social media platforms because of the same things that made me be insecure about myself all my life. Well, until I was in my early, early to mid-20s. Mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. I forgot to tell y'all, I had some lunch roll. I love my taco. But y'all didn't know me know how much I love cilantro as of late. You knew it was on there. But anyway. Um so I'm saying it to say love you. You cannot change how God made you. You can't. You cannot be upset because God made you the way He that you are. He made you the way you are for a specific reason. He made you like you are to be, for you to use those same insecurities to be a beacon of light for someone else. Do you know how many people are in the world, all over the world, that are just like me? I'm not saying look like me. I'm saying literally that are, you know, in a homosexual relationship, if you want to put a label on it, um, a part of the LGBT community, and they're totally happy in their lives at home. Them and their companions, they're totally happy in the inside of the walls of their home. But when they step out, these insecurities about them being who they are showed. They're timid. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get, either you're going to get that person that is happy in their lives within the confines of their home or their car or around their family sometimes but the outside world excuse me y'all the outside world challenges them so much and they're so insecure about who they are that either you're either gonna get a timid person that shies away from the spotlight that, that they really don't want to be recognized won't hold hands with their companion in public you know no public display of affection all that's out the door, which is not fair to the companion who could be perfectly um, abreast of their situation and be totally happy with being uh, publicly, uh, showing affection publicly. You know what I mean? Or you're going to get the other side of the coin. You're going to get that fiery one that's not ready. I mean, that is ready and willing to turn up on you because of the fact that they're happy in their lives but they're insecure about it on the outside. So if you poke at them at any point about anything, pow, they explode. Neither one of those people are being fulfilled in their lives fully. And it's because of their insecurities about who they are. Y'all, we have got to stop doing that. Um, as my, one of my favorite gospel songs in the world. Y'all know um, um, In the Midst of It All by Young Adams is my absolute favorite gospel song. But one of my other favorite gospel songs in the world is by Kiki Sheard. And she's talking to God and she's saying to God, it's called My Flaws. And what she's saying is to God is, you know, even though I'm insecure about me, even though I'm insecure about who I am and how I look and what's going on, but to you, to you, God, my flaws are what make me beautiful. Because that's what you, that's what you gave me that's different from everybody else. It's my flaws. If you think about it, if you're a living human, you're a color. Well, you're black, white, mixed, Chinese, blah, blah, blah. You, you have a descent. Okay? Everybody has one. Everybody uh, breathes if they're alive. You know? Everybody that's alive has to eat in some form, whether it's through a tube. Well, everybody that's alive, we have certain similarities that all of us have. Just because you're alive and you're breathing. That's just what it, our heart beats. You know, those things happen to everybody, but it's my flaws. It's my big lips. It's me not eating quietly. It's me wearing nails as a 40 year, you know, a uh, middle aged man, if that's what you want to call me, whatever I love, but hey, I look good for my age. But it's those things, those flaws, those are tweaks that God made to make you different, that may be insecurities to you, but that's what makes you special to Him. 
That's what makes you special to him. It's the flaws. It's the tweaks that he gave you. And I think, you guys, that's something that we as people, even us as grown individuals, need to realize so that we can give our children that. You know what I'm saying? I know for a fact, I mean, my little girl, she is by far, to me and my husband, the most beautiful girl in the world. Everybody's not going to see that, but that's fine. But when I go to wake her up in her room every day, when I kiss her on her jaw, I tell her that she's the most beautiful girl in the world. Hey, my beautiful baby. Hey, my beautiful baby. Because I want her to know that she is important and she should feel important to herself. She should understand that, yes, I'm going to have flaws about myself, but I'm beautiful for those flaws. I'm beautiful. Beautiful. I just don't want us to continue. You know, most of the things I talk about, I talk to help people or to help someone, but it's still all about, y'all, pumping these positive things into the next future and into the next generation, our future. You know what I'm saying? And I love this, that some of my kikis here. That's what it says. It says, my flaws are what make me beautiful to you. You know what I'm saying? My flaws are what make me special to you, God. Because that's the only thing you got different from what he did to everybody else. It's your flaws. The little tweaks that he made about you. You know what I mean? Just little things. You know, it could be anything. It's like some people um, feet sweat. Some people don't. Some people have problems with profusely sweating on their arms. Some people don't. You know, some people are just sweaters and have to uh, uh, walk around with towels all the time. And some people don't. But it's those very things that make you special. Your insecurities, those are the things that make you special. You know what I mean? Anyway, y'all, I'm finna go. I'm finna go, I'm finna go right. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you have enjoyed, okay? So I'm my newly Jed. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. I truly appreciate each and every one because you didn't have to be here. You could have chosen to be anywhere else in the world, but you chose to be right here with us, and we love you for it. Mm -hmm. So I'm my sister Lee J. Round and round we go, hey. Round and round we go. I love you guys so, so much. And I'm going to see you guys next time, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you still have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye. Bye. Y'all, all just aside, the things about you that you're insecure about, the things about you that you feel like make you different from other people, the things about you that make you want to hide in a cave and not be seen, those are the things. Those are the things that God gave you to make you special. Those same insecurities, like I told you about myself, the same insecurities that I carried around for 20 some years of my life that I hated about me. It's the same things is the reason why you know me. That's the reason why you listen to me. For those same insecurities. So what I want for you to do is I want for you to sit down. Even if you have to get a piece of paper. Talk to God first to get yourself in the right mindset. Sit down. And write down or recognize all your insecurities that you have. Ball them all up into one big ball. Lock them in, in, in that ball. Put a key in it. And throw them in the ocean. Don't even worry about them no more. Let those things shine. Let those things be prominent about you. Let those things be the beacon of light that God gave you those things to be. That's what he gave them to you for. If you're a person that sweats on your arm a lot, or whatever, you know, that profusely sweats in your body, there's somebody else out there that has that same condition that needs to see somebody like you stand up. You know, you might have to carry a towel. I remember at, at one time in my life, I used to sweat like that too under my arms. <gasps> I remember when I was younger, all of a sudden it just stopped when I got older. But I, re I can remember, I mean, because I've always had a professional job, so I can remember being dressed up, suits, ties, bow ties, you know, going to business meetings. And if I put my shirt on before I left home, like if I was wearing a jacket, if I put my shirt on before I left home, I used to ride driving like this, y'all, with the air conditioner blowing on my arm to keep myself cool under there so I wouldn't be wet when I got to where I was going. I remember though, all of a sudden, for some reason, or oh, I'm thankful, but for some reason when I got older, it just stopped. I don't have that problem anymore. But I did 
You know, it's, I think my hormones had to sell, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But I do know when I was younger, I had such, I had that problem. I looked for deodorant high and low, sprays. I used to use this little crystal-like thing that you put on the water and you wet it and you put it on your arm and it's supposed to encapsulate everything on your arm so you wouldn't get wet. I tried some of everything I did. But it was an insecurity of mine, but I found a way to work through it. When I got to them business needs, baby. When I got to them business needs, baby. The owner of whatever company, literally every company I ever worked for, uh, uh, throughout you know having business meetings stuff, the owner of such said company always knew who I was. Always <laughs> knew who I was. I was intelligent. I was smart. I knew my stuff. I was good at and what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? And so my numbers and stuff always stacked up against the other uh, entities very very well. But it was my appearance. It was me being well put together, smelling good, you know, always dapper that made me stick out. Even though I had these insecurities, I did. My lips, business meetings, you always have lunch, steak, da da da. All these insecurities were what they were. But I still was proud of me, who I am. You know what I'm saying? Who God made me. Those insecurities made me special. And that's how I took it. Even though on the inside of me, I was crawling, I was timid, and I didn't want to be seen like that. But the only way I could get over it, the only way that I could not hide behind it and not be overly aggressive was to be right in the middle. What's her name? Uh, Midnight Train to Georgia. What's her name, baby? Gladys Knight. Oh, baby. I'm the Gladys Knight of insecurities. You know how Gladys Knight, she, she can't really go real, real low? She can't go real, real high? Where you had Patty LaBelle that was da 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 and everybody would have this big old high, keen voice. She stayed in her lane, and she did what she did. But one thing about it, when you step down in her lane, hey, Rory, because she was there always in her lane, perfecting it. So when you came down to her lane, baby, uh, she was ready. And that's how I am. I may can't do what you do. I cannot look like you look. I can't live the life that you live. But what I can tell you is I'm going to live mine while I'm it to the fullest. And I'm not going to let my insecurities keep me from being happy not only in the inside of my home, but on the outside of my home. Now, I got to go. I hope you got the message. I tried to give it to you the best way I could. Uh, I talk about myself a lot because that way I can bring it home because I know how I feel. And I hope that, that translates to you uh, in the way that I'm trying to. So anyway. Take care of your insecurities. Like I said, lock them in a box and throw them in the ocean. Let them things show because that's the things about you. Your flaws are what make you beautiful to God because that's what he made different about you than everybody else. Peace. I'm out, y'all. Bye. Bye, y'all.